it's like when you're looking out at the sky. It's very simple. And, uh, you know, it's a sunny day. And all of a sudden, um, clouds start coming. And, uh, you know, the light gets distracted and it's not as warm if it's warm, etc. So, again, clouds are ideas. When you look in the sky and see clouds, they're... They're just ideas. They're part of the consciousness. It's very simple. Just uh, be now, pay attention, see what comes up next. Okay, so in other words, you don't have to always assume what it is. Learn to just mm -hmm. be now and really see what's going on instead of assuming with your mind. Yeah, yeah. Learn yeah. to be more and more now. And so whatever happens, you are aware. See, that's mm -hmm. what's important because if something happens, if there's a bomb that hits your house or something, but it's to practice being aware now so that if something does happen and you leave this world, as an example, you have your awareness. It's not about looking for anything. It's about being aware. Mm -hmm. And wherever you are, that's where yeah. you've decided to be, and you can decide differently. So again, the idea is clouds blocking the sun. So these are ideas floating out there, and it just depends upon how you, okay, assume that or decide, or you don't have to decide, just let it float by, you see? Yeah, it's a floating idea. So again, we all get disturbances. We've seen it. We've seen people come and go and use funny ideas, etc. But these things come and go, and after a while, you see them as nothing. So that's like passing clouds. It's all over. It's also part of the wake up to recognize what's going on now. That's all. Mm -hmm. Just simply be aware. Okay, so it starts off, he's at the gas station getting gas. All right, so he finally gets gas, and he goes to his daddy's house, and then there's, an, there's a car out there, and somebody's trying to break in the car to get to the recording. Is that it? And then they take the man inside, and uh, his dad takes a knife and, and cuts his, the fellow's foot. Yeah, okay, so the foot is the personal self. OK, and the hand, OK, uh, it can grab things or whatever. So it looks bad in the scene to where there's blood in that, but it's not really that. It's just that this person who tried to interfere has been cut off. You know, he has been, you know, it's just like if someone's on Skype, Skype and you don't want them there, you just cut them off. OK, you just click them off. OK, or you block them like that. That's the mm -hmm. idea, cutting them off. Not hurting him, just cutting uh -huh. them off. Do you understand? It's like you hang up the phone. Yeah. When you hang up the phone, you're cutting that person off. You're not hurting them. You're just cutting them off. The blood, again, the experiences on the real side many times exaggerate themselves just to get your attention. OK. So if there wasn't blood mm -hmm. from the cut, your mind would go, oh, gee, why isn't there blood? He cut him, but there was no blood. So then your attention's going to be on the blood. So just by cutting him off, in other words, if you don't like someone, you hang up the phone on them, uh, you know, that bothers them. Okay, so again, this cutoff is a bothersome because basically blood is lifeblood isn't it that's your life you need your blood etc so just simply cutting somebody off that's interfering guys is helping him uh, so that uh, helping the people there so they're not interfered with the idea was yeah. someone 
on the real side was interfering with somebody. In other words, someone was bothering somebody. Okay, someone was bothering somebody. And the guy came in and just kind of blocked that person from hurting anyone or getting in the car the car is an idea that's somebody's car or consciousness and getting into the recorder which is your mind you see and so mm -hmm. uh one of the guides blocked that so that wouldn't happen that's all simply did a block it has nothing to do with uh -huh. us blocking uh, yeah. people here no don't do he's just simply yeah. blocking him he doesn't get to become more aware because he's being naughty. So that's the idea. It's just simply cutting him off. So again, uh, these are animals and ducks are wonderful. I really like ducks, okay? Yeah, because they know how to quack, all right? Quack, quack. So uh, he knows what he's doing. So he has two friends. And what do ducks represent? Well, they, you know, like all animals, birds, whatever, animals, uh, fish, whatever they represent, they represent the environment. Mm -hmm. And they're happy know him see they're happy to know him see he invited them in so this is the idea of the environment we invite it in and we take part you see yes yes we don't shoo them away it's like go away that's the way the business people think it's like oh i had two ducks at my door i didn't want them there so i got my gun the thing being is they represent the environment and they're saying, hey, we need help out here. You guys are destroying the place. Duckies are saying, you know, and it's like, let us in uh, because, again, we need help. So he's willing to help.